Welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna be talking about there might be an ice giant planet hiding in our solar system. So this one right here. I mean obviously uh things like this um can be skipped on just because of the profound consequence that it would have if we did not know of such an object um, in our solar system. Uh, that's really the issue with not knowing um, kind of what's going on in our solar system is when, you, when you're when you being uh, fed things from 20 billion light years away and you don't know shit about your own solar system, I mean, it kind of leaves you with hella caution tapes. Uh, <laughs> You, you could be surprised at any time just due to the fact that we know little to nothing about our own solar system, you know what I mean? Uh, this again, discovery is pretty important just because when you add more planets to a solar system, you change in the dynamics and you change in the future of the solar system. So uh, you'd never know what, what may occur with this planet if it interacts with another rogue planet, gets sent towards the inner solar system, and we have even more inner planets. Uh, there's a lot of, I guess you would say, leeway for possibilities for uh, the future to, I guess, work with. But to kind of read along, there may be uh, more than just comets. Uh, in the solar system's extreme edges, astronomers show in the paper except there's a 7% chance that Earth has another neighboring planet hiding in the Oort cloud. <laughs> the, spher the spherical region of icy chunks and rocks where comets reside, the Oort cloud is mainly or is mind-bogglingly large uh, and far away. The edge is thousands of times further from the sun than Earth is from our own star. Every one in or around one in every two to three thousand stars likely hold a planet that's as far out as this one, as their computer simulations show. Uh, I don't know how to fuck uh, your simulations would um, predict such heavy. Like there's so many moving moving parts. I don't understand what the prediction is. You might as well just leave it alone, nigga. Like. Uh, to be re to be respectful, you might as well just leave that alone. Um, it is completely possible for our solar system to have captured such an object in the Oort cloud, says Nathan, co-author of New York okay, Astronomy Planet Science Institute. Okay, um, if there is a planet in the Oort cloud, it is most definitely an ice giant. Uh, it could be a rocky, rocky planet. It could be a volcanic planet. Uh, it just depends on the what's around it, um, the environment around it. Yeah, you have snow lines, ice lines, things of that nature that cause certain molecules to harden up and change state. But uh, even being that far, you can still get some rocky planets. Uh, you can still get some planets that hold water. They just, like I say, probably need some help with maybe some kind of brown dwarf or some kind of x-ray frequency emitting uh kind of uh on the heat side emitting uh celestial object um the problem with these hefty worlds is they have quite a gravitational pull and like uh like queer like queering siblings or siblings often knock each other over the nudges this <laughs> destabilize the youngest solar system and sometimes the planet gets shoved out either kicked out of the solar system entirely or reaches um, entirely or is exhaled to the outer reaches uh, with a few orbital queaks. Yeah, these niggas in there fucking, I hate the way they be doing these hoes. So pretty much, they don't know where this hoe came from. Nine times out of 10, they did find it. But once you find something like this, you don't know how many more there is. I mean, they already tell you it's so hard to spot objects in the Oort cloud or in our solar system, but but uh, James Webb Telescope is finding organic molecules 20 billion light years away. It's okay though, James. It's okay. 
uh, the Neptune sized planet size if, if a Neptune sized planet existed in the Oort Cloud there's a good chance that we wouldn't have found it yet astronomers at MIT uh, and not involved in this work amazingly it can sometimes be easier to spot planets hundreds of light years away than those in our own backyard god i just said that shit. god damn so i guess it may be harder to me i don't i guess when you're looking for other planets and you're doing this thing called solar eclipses and you're looking for certain light bending when you don't have any light bending and light um, interacting with any other planets in the outside of your solar system, I guess I can somewhat understand. But at the same time, up up your telescopes, my nigga, up your telescopes. Uh, despite the uh, difficulty, astronomers have been searching the Oort cloud, okay, for decades in hopes to find the elusive hypothetical Planet X. Planet X, also known as Planet Nine. <laughs> These niggas, man, uh, is a Neptune-sized planet, uh, though it orbits 60 billion miles from the sun. Uh, astronomers Mike Brown and another nigga named Bat uh, use observations of an object in the Kepler belt to infer that something massive as Planet X must be shepherding them. Okay, here we go with the shepherd moon shit. So, I guess the rotation isn't... Uh, mathematically sync to what's going on so there must be some form of medium that is interacting with the pieces causing there to be this uh underlying pattern so they may think that it may be some form of a shepherd planet possibly is um if the math isn't right uh unfortunately the or cloud planet uh, from Raymond's team couldn't be the same Planet X and, uh, that Brown and Bat were going hunting for. Okay, although the supposed Oort Cloud planet could be far away and have stretched out and have an eccentric or eccentric orbit, that's where the similarities and the Oort Cloud's planets in our simulation would be much more distant than the proposed Planet Nine orbit. Uh, at least 10 times further away Golly. so there's uh, they're looking for one planet you need to be looking for 15 of them bitches that's that's why it's all funky back there the reason why <laughs> the reason why it's all funky back there is because my nigga my nigga i hadn't been picking up he been picking up you know what i'm saying he he been picking up uh, one light year uh motherfucking <laughs> nigga got a reach of a light year He's been picking up. All right, so not one, uh, but two planets might be waiting for us to discover this one. He's been picking up. He's been. I don't know what else to say. Plus, countless others around different stars. I mean, another thing that's pretty interesting about this is there's a star or a planet called HD 106906b, and it's found 650 astronomical units away from its star so shit like this is definitely possible for you to orbit a star from such distances and the thing about 106 906 is it the sun that it has is similar to ours so that's that's even a bigger plus you see what i'm saying so you can study uh kind of the reaches of these planets uh kind of now uh what is this what is this distance going to be called what are what are these out what are these outside planets going to be like what is their fixture what is their reasoning what is their cause things of that nature uh stuff like this is pretty important i mean you need to learn your solar system you know the planets that are in it uh to me it's pretty strange i mean like i say i, I do believe there are about <laughs> I would say about 50, 50 planets back there. I can't even hold you. Because the way that Jupiter be scooping shit up every other day, I don't even understand it. That the, the Saturn, same thing, had 92 moons. Now now he jumping to 160. I don't understand. The same sand is just picking up everything. The sun way bigger, so it must be picking up. I don't understand. The, so pretty much there's been like, there are certain hypotheticals and... 
there are planets <laughs> there's a planet that was destroyed that they believe was called krypton that was in our solar system there's planet uh, five there's also planet nine uh there's planet 10 there's tyke there's oceanus there's brahma there's vishnu there's hades there's planet 10 there's planet o there's planet p q r s t u that's how many there are back there they stopped naming them niggas with names and just gave them letters finna start giving them numbers because the sun is picking up i don't know what else to tell niggas uh, there's another trans neptunian object a thousand five hundred astronomical units away from the sun that shit was brought to you in 2012 by a nigga named rodney gomes i don't really understand the muff what's the discrepancy here for y'all talk about mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune and we're done i don't understand the what, what, what are we we're not done you see what i'm saying but essentially vulcan <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. They're amorphous. There's so many different planets in our solar system. Tyke. Stop playing with Tyke. Appreciate y'all. And I'm going to see y'all niggas.